The Grand Canyon. A canyon so grand is the high desert of north, northern、um, Arizona. It's a canyon so big that we can see it from space. This dazzling place is called the Grand Canyon, and for a good reason. A canyon is a deep valley with steep sides, usually formed by a river. The Grand Canyon National Park stretches across about one thousand nine nine hundred square miles. In some places, the canyon is more than a mile. One point six kilometer deep, it can take two weeks to pass through one river raft. The canyon walls are rusty red and yellow and are made from rocks that are millions of years old. The Grand Canyon became a national park in 1919. National parks are special places. The land and the, the animals. That live there are protected. More than four million people visit the Grand Canyon National Park every year. Formation, time and erosion helped shape the Grand Canyon into what it is today. Erosion happens when bits of the ground are worn away by wind or water. For millions of years, the Colorado River ran over the land and well away the earth. At the first, the river water made only a shallow channel in the ground. Over time, it formed an amazing canyon. The Grand Canyon's walls have stripes of different colors. The stripes are layers. Of sediment that are stacked on top of each other over millions of years. Each layer shows a different time in Earth history. The layers are much like the layers of a cake. The river is like a knife that cuts cuts into the lake and shows the layers inside. The canyon layers give us a peek into the past and help scientists underground how Earth has changed over time. Scientists say, say the rocks at the bottom of the canyon are nearly two billion years old. Exploration. People have been coming to the Grand Canyon for at least twelve thousand years. Groups of Native Americans camp. Hunted made tools and grew food in the area. The region was home to many tribes. They built homes and other structures into the sides of the canyon. By the 1850s, the Grand Canyon was still mostly unexplored by Americans. They sometimes called the area the Great Un Unknown. In 1869, John Wesley Powell led a dangerous trip through the canyon. The group traveled on the Colorado River. It was the first recorded trip of its kind. Over time, more people come to the Grand Canyon to explore, photograph its landscape, and ride the river. The canyon became even more popular after. It was made a national park. Make your own adventure. Today, millions of visitors go to Grand Canyon National Park. Some hikers explore the far reaches of the canyon for weeks. There are even cabins at the bottom where visitors can stay. Rafting on the Colorado River is also popular. Grand Canyon. Includes about two hundred six seventy seven miles of a twisting river. The water can be rough, fast, and rocky in some places, making for a grand adventure. People also love to walk on trails along the rim of the canyon. They marvel at the miles of colorful walls. And watch as sunlight and shadows move across the landscape.
The National Wonder. The Grand Canyon is one of the most most incredible sights sights in na in nature. Its land, animals, and history will always be protected. Everyone who visits this national park is rewarded with an adventure and a view unlike anything else on earth.